If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Now, before I get started, because I, I know some of y'all like to just like over look a lot of the stuff that I say, um, I ain't asking y'all to feel sorry for this man at all. I'm not doing that, nor, you know, do I really care. Um, my thing is this, right? This is something that I do not directly call or wish to happen to anybody. And the main thing that I've always stated is that I advocate for men and I advocate for the fact that men go through abuse. But the problem with it is that women act like they're the only ones that get abused. Women always want to act as though they're the only ones that's ever affected, the only ones that ever go through it and yada, yada, yada. And they always want to make it seem like they're always the main target when in reality you have women out here who due to the fact of the double-sidedness of society knowing the fact that men are raised the young boys are raised not to hit women they will take the liberty to overstep that and then decide that they want to start swinging on the dude because they're like, oh, well, you're not going to do nothing. You're a guy. You're stronger than me. You should be able to take these hits, yada, 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 all this other type of stuff. And then when they're hitting you, right, they'll do a lot of things to antagonize you. They'll start calling you out of your name. They'll, you know, start taking low blows, don't either like verbally or physically. They'll jump on you. They'll scratch you. They'll throw things. They'll do a lot of things in order to try to antagonize a response. And you have a lot of women out there that will directly just decide that, oh, I just feel like swinging on them just because I'm emotional, because I'm going through my period, because of hormones or whatever. They'll make up whatever excuse that they want to make up in order to start swinging on a guy. But also notice that these same women would never swing on a woman that knows how to fight. Notice how they never try to look for those women because they know that it's on equal terms then. If you swing on her, she's going to automatically beat you down and dog walk you. But yet when it comes to men, there's always that rule of that no matter what a woman does, you never put hands on a woman. I've literally seen guys say this exact same thing. They'd be like, oh, no matter what a woman does to you, uh, you, 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 you never sit up there and put your hands. It, it don't matter if she if, if, if she stabs you and, and takes your life. It don't matter if she shoots you 95 times. It don't matter if she hits you with a car and throw a house at you or a shark. You, you never sit up there and put your hands on a woman. You just walk away. You just find, you, you, you just escape. And that's what guys like to say. And those are the guys that are the enablers. And they're the reasons why you have women and young girls out here and teenagers, females, uh, that will decide if they want to start swinging and beating on guys. Like I said, I done told y'all my stories. Told y'all my stories. And because I know the type of kid that I was and the fact that I know that if I went through this, other kids who were just like me went through the exact same thing. I know that there are tons of stories that guys got out here where women have sat up there and hit them. The difference is women are going to be vocal because, you know, quote unquote, they're the victims and they're the only victims out here. Men are going to be so vocal because it's a loss on every single side, right? If a guy defends himself, he's a bitch. If a guy doesn't defend himself, then he's still taking an L, right? If a woman ends up, you know, being harmed by a guy, two things are going to happen, right? The woman is automatically going to be, of course, the victim. And the world is going to come out and show support and to back her up and want to fight the battle for her. Right now, on the other side, if the woman was yet again harmed by a man, but she defended herself. Right. All the praise in the world, all of the titles in the world, the whole world is basically praising her. And on top of that praise and on top of the fact that she's able to defend herself, you'll still have people out there ready to defend her, even though she's already shown that she is more than capable to defend herself. It's a win directly on both sides. There, there, there are no losers there. There isn't. 
And the main thing that I'm stating is the same thing that I've stated in a multitude of other videos. Why is it so hard for women to keep their hands to themselves? We all know that women aren't raised to not hit boys. Like I said, I, I, I've i never run into households really where that has been like the rule where that has been stated that, yo, you don't go out here, you know, putting your hands on guys because if guys, if you put your hands on guys, then guys got the right to sit. That, that's, that's not a rule. There's only so few families and only so few women that will teach that type of rule. And then on top of that, a lot of these girls out here, they got men in their families, in and out of jails and prisons. They got brothers. And their brother's word will enable that type of behavior. They'll literally sit back and watch their sister swing on a dude who ain't fight back. They're not going to bust a move. But the moment in time that it looked like the dude going to step forward, magically everybody's showing up in black cloaks ready to do a seance to sacrifice a life. And I'm like, that, that type of stuff is crazy to me. It's 1,000% crazy to me that you literally have guys that do stuff like this that enable women like this it's crazy to me that you got families out here that enables women like this it's crazy to me that you got a society out here that enables women like this but at the same time we always sit up there and state that men should never hit women women are always the victims and we always need to sit up there and teach people about domestic violence so that women will never continue to be the targets that they have always been throughout history by way of men, because men are bad, men are bad, men are bad, men are evil. Like I said before, people are going to end up learning some stuff, and it's going to be sooner rather than later, because everything that is taking place is due to the fact that women want it to take place. And what I mean by that is the things that women have decided that they wanted to do, oh, I'm independent, I'm the king of the castle, I'm this, I'm that, I'm stronger than a man. Like I said before, all of those things, that road that you're walking down, don't be too surprised when you get challenged when you want to be stronger than a man. Don't be uh, uh, too shocked when you get challenged when you state that you are a king, because I don't know if women understand this, but the title of a king carries weight, right? Heavy be the head that bears the crown, right? So that means that at any moment in time that you label yourself as a king or that people see that you're a king, people are going to tempt that. People are going to want to take that crown. People are going to want to come at that throne. People are going to want what you got. But like I said before, you can't tell women it's because they don't understand what it is to actually be a man. They don't know what comes with being a man and the challenges and the hurdles, right? And all the things that you got to go through in order to be number one at the top, and it's lonely at the top, which means that you ain't going to have no protection, which means that any protection, any friends that you had at the point in time when you were at the bottom or the mid tier of that mountain, that means that all of those people are now aspiring to be you. They're now looking at you and now they want to take what it is that you got to be the next one sitting on top. So like I said, a lot of the things that's taking place now are the things that women have told the universe that they want. So a lot of women should not be too shocked when you have a lot of guys out here that are opting to opt out of a lot of things, meaning protecting those women, standing up for those women, being chivalrous, being respectful, valuing women, and so on and so on and so on. I keep telling people that, you know, there's in a sense two roads in life, right? You got the road of the weak, you have the road of the strong. If you are at one moment in time weak and you decide that you, you know, have powered up enough, right? Took a sinzu bean and you want to step into the road of the strong, you got to deal with what comes with it. You can't sit up there and say that you're on this same road as everybody else being strong and you can fight these battles and yada, 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 but yet you're still weak at the same time. No, you left that. You left that road. If you still want to be considered weak and you want all of the things that come with being weak, then go back to that road. Don't come into a whole lane where everybody is powered up, but then you're still stating that you need assistance from everybody else that's powered up. That doesn't make any sense. You said that you're strong. You said that you're independent. You said that you're a king. Now act as one. Act accordingly to your title. But like I said, a lot of women don't specifically know what that means 
or what that entails. So this is why you have society in shambles and looking as confused and as chaotic as it is at this moment in time. 